Hey, what's up, guys? It's Preets coming back to you with another episode of Gungeon. So, I got a little thing I want to say about this episode. Um, as of right now, I've been doing some thinking. I've been doing some some big ol' big ol' big brain thinking. And as so, I finished Isaac, and that was one of the big goals that I set out for my channel. Um, I didn't know how long it was going to take. I was just going to play Isaac and see. I thought it was going to take longer than it did, honestly. And I was going to do that. That was mainly for me, and mainly a way for me to get just more videos on my channel. Something that could build up like a little like repertoire um, before I start recording any other videos. And so, after I finished that, I was kind of like, oh wow, that was, that was quick. That was really quick. And... I decided to move on to Gungeon because Gungeon is the second best bet of things like Isaac and it's something that I've wanted to play for a while. Um, so I've been enjoying it a lot. I've been actually proceeding very quickly. I think that this whole YouTube idea of recording a game it motivates me the most to get a game done. Because honestly, I probably wouldn't be playing Isaac or Gungeon if it wasn't for YouTube. Um, I know nobody's watching these videos exactly, and by nobody, I mean, there's just, it, I'm not exactly a big enough YouTuber to get views on videos like this. Um, what well, somebody said, I forgot, I think it was Alpha Gaming on like one of his stream, like, how to stream videos was basically saying people don't come to watch the gameplay, they come to watch the person. I think is when my gameplay is an hour long of me just doing an entire run. Not that many people probably want to come watch that kind of video. They probably want to go watch people like Sinvicto, watch people like Huts, watch people who have have lots of viewers, and people come and watch them because of them. They don't exactly come for Isaac or come for Gungeon. Of course, the people who watch those videos are probably big fans of the games. So it, it, it's, it's not exactly true to what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that I don't think that the Gungeon is doing me the best possible. As much fun as I'm having, I'm glad the whole YouTube thing allowed me to play these games that I used to play casually and actually like start beating them and get, have motivation to do that. But going forwards, I feel like in order for me to get any sort of growth in my channel, I feel like this is not the best course. Of course, these videos are the easiest ones to make, and I feel like they're the most low effort kind of videos to make. Of course, I, I record for however long a game takes. I basically go in, slap on some like little effects onto it, slap it on an intro, and I hope the best. I upload it, I render it, and that it's it's a very very simple simple thing to do. It takes me about three hours in total because. Rendering an hour-long video usually takes around 20 to 30 minutes, depending on... Uh, sometimes it takes longer, it takes shorter times, longer times. Then uploading it can take however long. Like, I've had some videos take a while. If I'm in class and, like, trying to upload it while I'm, like, listening to class, then that's, that's one thing. But that's kind of a tangent I don't need to get on. I just think that th this game is... It's, I'm st it's still one of my favorite games. Isaac is still one of my favorite games, but they're not games that will get me views. And I'm not out here for views. I'm not out here to exactly, like, get famous or anything. I'm just out here to have a good time playing games I like. But I don't exactly want to do this for nothing. I'd love to see growth in my channel, even if it's, even if it's 100 subscribers, even if it's 10 subscribers. I want to be able to do stuff that will give me more chances for growth because I love I would love to show people my content I, I like people watching stuff I do and seeing stuff I do such as anything that I do create creative creativity cre creatively um let me go grab that blue chest real quick as somebody I forgot who it was said I literally like the worst item ever I don't want this item so much that I'm going to go sell it and lose my other item. But as I was saying, I, I don't know who said it, but they were saying that you can't just like, this is for streaming at least, you can't just hop into streaming and expect that you can play the game that all the big 
the big people are playing. Like, you can't just start streaming Wars on our Fall Guys and expect to gain viewers because, spoiler alert, the big streamers already are taking the viewers for that category. Of course, yes, there is a chance that you could get, like, you could get lucky and get views, but that's the thing. Do you want to play it down to luck or do you want to be a little bit more strategic about it? So, if you want to be a little bit more strategic about it, you play games that are more niche and you find a, a, a spot like that's what you need to do on YouTube if you want to get views as well you have to find a niche spot that you can fill that will get you views like uh, Damon I's friend JP he records dinosaur videos his dinosaur videos get thousands of views one of them has hundreds a uh, hundred thousand views I think almost 200,000 views the reason for that is because it's such a niche group of people on YouTube where at the time that he got the, all the views he did there was nobody on YouTube that was like a doing that much dinosaur content now I feel like there are some like some people that are doing it but it's all about finding that niche spot and of course I wish that Gungeon and Isaac could be that but right now there's people like Huts there's people like um, Sinvicta I, I those, those are the only two that I've ever watched who play these two games but they kind of hold the spots on here and this is not a game that unless you're in one the niche community and if, yeah, the niche community, you're not exactly going to want to watch somebody play an hour-long run and just talk over it, because that's not the most entertaining thing. One thing that Sinvicta has is, that was really weird, he glitched out, Sinvicta has, he has a way about himself that is super entertaining, and also, he's a very talented Isaac player, like, he has, like, a 800-something day streak of Eden, like, that he, he's won. Of course, the, the episode count is, I think, on a... A thousand and like ten now. It's pretty high. Kind of sick master. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I'm kind of like dancing around the what the heck. I'm kind of dancing around what I'm trying to get to, and I'm I'm just trying to get to the idea that I think I'm gonna stop recording Isaac or Gungeon, quote unquote daily. I was doing it pretty much daily during the summer. Now that school's in session, I've been doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know that school's only been in session for two weeks. And I'm not doing it exactly because of school. That's one reason. But if I'm only going to upload three times a week, I'd rather put more work into those videos and edit, like, do edited videos instead of trying to do this. Because this is still time consuming, even though that it's a much simpler process than editing a video and, like, putting hard, like, more hard work into it. Um... But the reason why I think I'm going to decide to stop recording Gungeon is one, because it's not exactly getting me views. And I, as, as I said, people might be like, oh, you're only in it for views. No, I mean, everybody wants to see growth. Like, there's nobody out there who is trying to not grow. Like, there's some people who probably just upload videos completely for fun, but I'm putting pretty good, like, effort and work into this. And so I'd like to see some like to reap some benefits from my hard work and so i want to work a little bit harder do that kind of stuff damien and i have a bunch of plans he just released a video and he's gained i think 10 subscribers from it he's it's it's actually getting lots of views it's probably his most viewed video behind his pewdiebot pewdiepie i don't think it's a i don't know what brand the pewdiepie figure is but the limited edition pewdiepie like twos figure i don't think it's twos or u2s or whatever but Anyways, so I, I think I'm just going to record, I'm, I'm probably going to record, I'm such an idiot, I'm probably going to keep playing, I'm going to keep playing it on my own free time, because that's what I do anyways, and so, if I have a really good run, or like, I might, I'll still make videos about it if I'm, for example, if I'm, if I'm going to do like, 100% completion, I'm probably going to record 100% completion video, similar to the Isaac video, um, and if you haven't seen that, go watch it, I put time and effort into that and I think it was decent. I need to work on my editing, but I don't think that these Isaac and Gungeon videos are going to get me too far um, in this whole YouTube game just because, what the heck? I think I just walked into one in the wall. So moving forwards, I think I'm going to Wow. I did not see that one as like it was going to hit me. Damon and I plan on maybe recording Warzone, and we have some other plans for like the, I would say more distant future, but it's the more distant future as in like 
a month or two from now. And so I'm not going to exactly talk about that, but we're probably going to place a little bit of Warzone, maybe stream a little bit, try to find a couple more people to play games with. So if anybody's watching this video and wants to join a gaming group, hit us up. Um, we're trying to just find more content creators to record and do stuff with, because as much fun as we have together, the, the easiest way to see growth and to just create better content is having more people who are like-minded who want to have similar goals. All these brown chests are going to make me throw up. And so with that, I will officially say that this is going to be the last video of Gungeon like this. What's this one do? Sorry. Um, Gungeon Shrines. And this is another reason. I feel like I'm just not educated enough in order to play this game. Oh, that's pretty crazy. So basically what happens for this guy is if you drop all the weapons that he holds during the actual boss fight, he'll drop you like the guns back with like super good synergies. Um, the be beholded synergy. Whew. These guys are my least favorite guys in the game. All you have to do is shoot them so they bounce away. Um, but yeah, I, I will I will still have some videos regarding Gungeon. I will have videos probably doing Isaac. I haven't done Isaac because my plan initially was to do th three Gungeon videos a week and two Isaac videos a week. But since I could only record at this point, because my Tuesdays and Thursdays are completely, completely swamped with classes. I have, I take 16 credits of classes and all those classes are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's nice because Monday, Wednesday, Friday are pretty lax and they're basically homework days, but it makes it so Tuesdays and Thursdays are impossible to do anything. Oh my gosh. Bro, I just got ganged up on. I'm not expecting to do super super good in this video. This is mainly just me talking about my plans. Um, but I just don't think... I think that if I want to do this on YouTube more, I need to get more creative with the content I make. Um, and set myself apart from others. Because 60-minute videos, nobody ever will go... Like, not nobody, but people are less likely to go watch random people record a, a, a video for 60 minutes unedited and just sit there and watch through. Now, if people did, that'd be sick because that's an hour of watch time for anybody who watches all the way through. And the only people, I mean, I I will go like, while I play Gungeon or while I play Isaac, I will always watch some Victor or watch something, like a podcast or something while I play. And so I, I enjoy watching these longer videos. And so that's why I record them. But it's because it's who they are. Sinvicta is so entertaining. He's so good at the game. He has so much knowledge about the game that makes it just such a fun time to watch him work his magic. Same thing with Hutz. Hutz is just Hutz. Hutz is, Hutz is amazing. But I'm going to get more creative with my content. I'm going to record other games, do other stuff. Damien's doing a great job with what he's doing right now. And I... I just want to focus my time on working on different types of videos, um, and then hopefully one day, if I get the growth I, I need, I will come back to this game and probably start with working with um, editing each run If one, once I have more time. The reason I haven't done that, I could have done it during the summer, but even during the summer, it's just not doing this as any sort of, <laughs> I wouldn't even say like money earning or like any sort of any sort of career I just did not have time to be editing five videos a week of runs and it was more effective to record unedited videos because as I said this these videos are less for the the reason of getting lots of lots of views and more of building up a repertoire because if somebody comes to my channel and looks at it I don't think anybody can argue but it looks it looks pretty impressive I mean if, if you scroll down it's pretty good well-made thumbnails it's a bunch of videos it's just 
good stuff. I don't even know what this is. Ooh. I'm probably gonna go buy more stuff that he has because I can. Um, and so if you look, I have the Minecraft series, I have the Isaac series, I have the Gungeon series. I just have a, a good amount of stuff. It's, it's, I'm very proud of the work that I've done. And so moving forwards, now that I have that kind of baseline content, and honestly, all that content has made, like, helped me grow so much as a person who edits videos and that and I still see my downfalls when it comes to editing I still see that I'm not like I'm not the best of course I'm not the best I've not been doing this that long and I only started editing videos beginning of the summer and so I feel like I've moved very far but this whole process of uploading five times a week one it's not going to be too beneficial for me anymore because creating more and more like it's pretty much the definition of insanity like doing something that reaps no benefits like for this long there's no reason to do that and i don't think exactly it's not reaping any benefits because i'm having a great time i am oh i thought that was a secret room i'm having so much fun with playing this game and as i said it, it's giving me motivation to play this game the music just got weird I don't appreciate it. It says it reveals secret rooms. But. I kind of lost my train of thought for a second. One sec. Let me let me try to big brain it real quick. Uh, so I, I do plan on coming back to this, this game and Isaac hopefully one day. But that's once I gain enough traction and make enough videos that make people start coming to this channel for me because right now I with my 11 subscribers I know I don't know who half the subscribers are none of them are coming here to watch me exactly they probably came here to watch one of my videos that was entertaining to them or they're probably just one of my friends who doesn't come and watch the videos and so I don't I, I don't th I need to start making content that will make people start seeing me and making myself the present what this YouTube channel is and so once I do that and once people come to this YouTube channel for me I can start making videos like this of course I feel like you have to have very much a lot of luxury to be able to upload stuff like this like Sinvicta him he just put a lot of hard work in for many many years and he grew I can't expect to just hop in and do this and become just like Sinvicta. Of course, me saying that could sound like, oh, then you should just keep doing this, keep at it. I just don't believe that I exactly have the time that it takes to record this kind of video as often, and I'd rather, as I said, like use my time more wisely, um, and by making two, two or three edited videos a week and putting a little bit more time into the content I make. I don't think the content I make is bad. I think that I've been doing actually a for for my for for what I've done, I think I've done a very good job with the content I've made. Um and if somebody came here and watched this video, I think that they would probably enjoy it. I don't know why I didn't hop right there. Very distracted. So yeah. It's, it's going to be an interesting transition. Um, I hope to come back, as I said, at some point in time to come back and play the games that I love the most. But the only way I could play this right now is if I was going to get creative enough with it. If Damien and I were going to do a co-op series, which I don't think that's even too creative. But this is just a game that you need to create who you are as a YouTuber before you can ever really hope to get too big on here. I just need to use blanks. So, with all that being said, once again, this is the last Gungeon video for a while of this type. Um, I hope to beat the game soon-ish. Um, that's still one of my biggest goals. 
Sorry, I gotta focus up for a second. I don't know why I'm so... Yep, that's the end. Um, I'm I'm okay with that being the end, just because I I want I, I want to focus more on talking for just the last little bit. I will return to the breach and just talk a little bit. I know not exactly people are gonna come and watch this video. I want to wear this guy's outfit. I know nobody's exactly gonna come and watch this video of me like talking about this being my last video of Gungeon, but I will be titling this kind of clickbaity. I'm gonna say this is my last episode of Gungeon. Um, so just to do a little recap, I was very, like, I'm very cluster minded whenever I record these, I need to get better at just thinking straight. And that's why I, I want to do different stuff moving forwards. And so moving forwards, there's going to be more, uh, maybe fall guys, other stuff, but more content that might not even be gaming. I, I know that's not, not my forte. Like Damien's very good at it. He's, he's been doing a really good job and all the stuff that's not gaming for me have been very kind of, I... I would say they've been borderline lackluster. I need to learn to write scripts more. I need to actually plan out videos a little bit better. And that's just a general thing is I need to plan out videos better. Of course, the recording an hour of gameplay and then finding the funniest clips in that, I think always works out. But the best way to do that is recording many hours streaming, looking at your, like, taking your VOD of streaming and breaking down hours of footage into 10 to 20 minutes. And so... I want to, in the future, I want to stream a little bit. I want to do more stuff. I want to do more stuff that will grow this channel. Because I want to grow this channel for myself. I want to grow it just so other people can come and enjoy the content I make. And Damien and I's goal has always been to become bigger, better YouTubers. And so we don't exactly... We're not doing this because we want fame. We want money. Like, we're, we're fine with after 10 years of hard work being 100k andies who don't make like a living exactly off of youtube maybe make enough to survive but make make videos that every once in a while get good views that people like a lot and i think that we're on a good track to doing this i think that these games i've been playing and the the videos i've been making have been very good for my channel and for what i've been doing i think that my repertoire is very high i've i don't i don't know the exact amount of videos i recorded I want to say 43 Isaac videos. This is episode 13 of Gungeon. I recorded 15 Minecraft videos and two Fall Guys videos. So whatever that math is, that's under 100. But like, that's a lot of videos to output. Um, of course, there's some people who output two videos a day <laughs> every single day um, just because they're quick they're, and, and they are just grinding this out. But... I hope that I can, once, especially after I get comfortable with the semester, start creating better content, stuff that will separate me from others, something that will portray me as me. I feel like these videos are good to getting into the soul of Jonas, kind of, but, or Preet, sorry. But for now, nobody's gonna, uh, nobody's gonna come to watch me, because they don't know who I am, because I've not made a name for myself, or, ma like, even made a persona for this channel. So... I will be back to Gungeon one day and Isaac one day, most likely, just depending on how the roads go. But for now, this is going to be the end of both the Gungeon and the Isaac series, even though I stopped recording Isaac a while ago. I'm no longer going to record this style of video. Um, I'm still going to keep playing this, as I said, but I do hope to record the 100% completion of this game. But not recording means I'm probably going to play this slightly more casually and start just in my off time working more on next videos and all that kind of thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that at some point I can come back to this kind of content. But for now, this is the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Preets. Peace out. Bye.